let me just put this out there and you guys tell me what you think. So if for the next time the debate, I think there's a debate after the conventions, maybe in September. So I saw one out there and I kind of tweaked it and I went and like did a little bit of research on what they mostly say. So when Biden says, uh, calls Trump a convicted felon, you take a drink. When Biden says, listen, folks, you take a drink. When he mentioned he's from Scranton, Pennsylvania, <laughs> you take a drink. When he tells a childhood story that may or may not have happened, that he may be fabricated, you take a drink. When he jokes about his age, which is good. Self-deprecation is good, I think, in politics. It gives people a little bit of a, you know, makes them real. Um, you drink. If he begins a sentence but finishes it with a completely <laughs> different thought, you can take two drinks because you forgot about the first one. If he stares with his mouth open for more than five seconds, you take a drink. Now, let's go over to the, the Trump side. When Trump says, everyone is saying everyone the best ever, <laughs> so you take a drink. When he says, sleepy Joe, which, you know, that's, that, that's without saying uh, you take a drink. The Biden crime family, even though he is a convicted felon, take another drink. Um, if he insults someone, which... You're going to be drinking a lot because oh moderators, people in the crowd, you know, whatever Democrat he's going after, you're drinking. Uh, if he uses any excessive hand motions, which a lot of these, <laughs> really, <laughs> the double, the double, uh, the double jerk off, I guess we can call that one <laughs> celebration. Who used to do this one? Like, uh, wouldn't is that George Bush? Was it the the no young new taxes? Like I wouldn't be prudent. That might be the old George Bush. G okay. W maybe I'm not sure. Know. One of the Bushes, I'm pretty sure. And then if he refers to himself or his presidency as the greatest in history or himself as the best ever, you drink. So I think that's pretty fair, right? It's like equal on both sides. You will die. You will <laughs> be dead. <laughs> but wait, we're not done. If wait, it, there's more. There's more. Wait, wait, there's more. You drink if either of them takes a sip of water, which will happen. So keep drinking. Or if they make a strange face, like when Biden's saying something <laughs> and Trump's just looking at him or vice versa. Um, and then if either of them does these two things, you have to finish the bottle you're oh, drinking. No. One, they agree on something, That'll never <laughs> which is more likely than if one of them actually die on stage. That's very likely. <laughs> so those are your options. So that is the uh, the Biden-Trump drinking game. We'll share that out again when uh, when that comes up. How much would you be drinking during that game? You'd, you'd be, be dead. dead. Yeah. You'd be, you, you'd be dead. Yeah. Alcohol poisoning, BJ? That's more like you, you you would drink more in this game than you would. So there's the ACDC drinking game where it's listen, oh. to, listen to Thunderstruck and take a shot every time they say yep. thunder. Mm hmm <laughs> I think he'd be drunker in the politics game. Yeah, exactly. so. for sure. <laughs> There's yeah. that same one with Roxanne, the song. Yeah, Roxanne, and then then you don't then whoever's drinking, you you drink until they say Roxanne again. There's a bunch of other ones out there too, but uh, 